Series 4, the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And we kick things off tonight with the Cruiserweight Championship of the World on the line. Originally, the Hurricane was supposed to be here receiving a championship opportunity, but unfortunately due to injury, Hurricane Helms not able to compete tonight. Ricochet issued an open challenge over the week that was answered by NXT's Tyler Bate, a man who was the first ever WWE United Kingdom champion back in 2017, held that gold for 125 days. Now Tyler Bate making his debut on the main roster tonight, a part of Friday Night SmackDown, and a gold and opportunity awaits. A championship that Tyler Bate has competed for in the past. Is he about to leave Las Vegas, the new Cruiserweight Champion? As we mentioned, he was the inaugural WWE NXT United Kingdom Champion for 125 days in 2017. We are also looking at a former NXT Tag Team Champion. So this young man knows what it's like to hold the gold. Now a part of Friday Night SmackDown, is he about to add some new hardware to that history-making list? We're going to find out in moments, but of course Tyler Bate, no easy task ahead. A man who has held the Cruiserweight Championship for 166 days since SummerSlam back on June 26th of this year. And here we go, the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. The one, the only, Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Ricochet arrives at the MGM Grand Arena. Throughout this historic making reign for Ricochet as the Cruiserweight Champion, he dethroned Santos Escobar back at SummerSlam, retained it in an epic ladder match against Santos Escobar back at Extreme Rules of this year. He also owns championship defenses over Chad Gable, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Wesley, and Roderick Strong most recently at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Don't forget last week here on SmackDown, Ricochet was in action against Cameron Grimes, and Ricochet pulled off the win on that night as well. The one and only has been damn near untouchable for the last six months in the WWE, but is tonight gonna be the night that somebody finally knocks Ricochet off his pedestal? The prestigious Cruiserweight Championship is on the line, a championship that was once defended in this very building back in 1997 between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. More lineage gonna be adding on to that history championship tonight. Let's send things down to the ring for your official introductions. Introducing the challenger from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds. And introducing the champion from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Well, here we go with your first matchup of the evening. It is a live premiere special pay-per-view-like edition of SmackDown tonight. The Friday Night SmackDown All-Star Kickoff, December the 9th, 2022. MGM Grand Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City. WWE is in the house, and the Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. Here we go, Tyler Bate, the new number one contender, challenging the one and only Ricochet, and we are underway on what is going to be an historic night on Friday Night SmackDown history. And Tyler Bate again filling in for the Hurricane tonight. The original number one contender, unfortunately not able to compete due to injury. Ricochet issued an open challenge that was accepted by NXT's Tyler Bate. Of course, that open challenge went out to any cruiserweight in the WWE. And Tyler Bate was the first man to sign the contract, step up from NXT, and is looking to dethrone Ricochet on his first none of the main roster. What a win it would be for Tyler Bate, as we mentioned, a former NXT United Kingdom champion, the inaugural one at that, and a former NXT tag team champion. So Tyler Bate knows what it's like to hold gold here in the WWE. And what a night it could be for Tyler Bate if he could dethrone Ricochet on night one here on SmackDown. 
Bates looking good since the opening bell. Ricochet really hasn't found an answer. Tyler Bate brings a very interesting style as he whips Ricochet over the top rope there. Tyler Bates got a very interesting style of being a technical wrestler inside of that ring, mixed with a little bit of brawling, mixed with a little bit of high flying. Tyler Bates really a full package of antics inside of that ring. As he drops Ricochet here on the outside of the ring and the beatdown commences. This is what I mean, a little bit of that brawling here of a former member of British Strong Style. He whips Ricochet to the steel steps. Tyler Bate knows the opportunity that has that stake here. He knows, the, he knows that Ricochet is a crowd favorite here on Friday Night SmackDown, but Tyler Bate's in for himself tonight on the top rope, looking to go high risk. Ricochet's days on the outside of the ring. Here comes Bate with the ax hammer. Again, showcasing that full tool on his belt. High flying to the outside, now wrenching it in on the one and only on the outside of the ring. Can't win the championship out there as we know, but certainly can add a little bit more damage than usual. Ricochet's got to start fighting back here. This has been all Tyler Bate since the opening bell. We talked about how successful Ricochet's Cruiserweight Championship reign has been 166 days since winning the gold back at SummerSlam. And it's because of maneuvers like that. Nobody goes high risk like the human highlight reel himself, the one and only Ricochet. This is why Ricochet has been atop the Cruiserweight division for almost six months here in the WWE. Tyler Bate contemplating his next move as the one and only is awaiting his arrival inside of the ring. Ricochet trying to outmatch Tyler Bate on the collar and elbow there. Bate blocking whatever the one and only had in mind and that's some United Kingdom brawling tactics out of Tyler Bate if I ever saw one. There's Ricochet with the counter, goes behind, able to pick up Tyler Bate for the German. I'm gonna make a wise guess here and say that Ricochet is the stronger of the two competitors, I do believe. We can't count out Tyler Bate. Ricochet's obviously his greatest asset is his high flying ability and maneuvers like this. Moonsault into the German, into the bridge. Impressive from the Cruiserweight Champion. Ricochet most recently defended the gold back at Survivor Series on Thanksgiving night. My goodness, springboard again. Defended the gold against Roderick Strong. And again, just last week here on Friday Night SmackDown, Ricochet defeating Cameron Grimes inside of the ring. So Ricochet continuing to ride a high throughout this Cruiserweight Championship reign as he's eyeing up Tyler Bate on the outside of the ring. The number one contender all days, corkscrew by the one and only. The Cruiserweight Champion's got his mojo back in this matchup. Tyler Bate was really in control after the opening bell, but Ricochet has taken over in your opening contest tonight on the Friday Night SmackDown All-Star Kickoff. And again, Ricochet goes for the Topekin Hilo, but Tyler Bate, I believe, ducked out of it. Ricochet luckily didn't land too disastrously, but Tyler Bate sending the Cruiserweight Champion into the steel steps again. That is why they call it high risk, ladies and gentlemen. Ricochet damn near crashing and burning, but Tyler Bate making sure he feels the pain off that miss. Momentum can shift in a matter of moments here in the WWE. And now Tyler Bate sending Ricochet right into the hardest part of the ring and just unloading on the champion here on the outside of the ring. Las Vegas, Nevada. In all of what they're witnessing right now, Ricochet may have meant his match tonight. A man who has knocked down every challenge in his way has really been on the losing end of this matchup thus far against Tyler Bate, if we had to call it. Tyler Bate heading back into the ring, now breaking the count. Might be smart for Ricochet to get inside the ring. There you go, Cruiserweight Champion trying to get a distance from the challenger right now. Unloading on Bate. Went for the drop kick there, but another counter by the challenger. And now Tyler Bate into the cover. Is he the new Cruiserweight Champion? Not just yet. Now Bate dropping the bare elbow right on Ricochet. And now this is Tyler Bate going to the top rope. We talked about how he's got a full... Oh no, where did Ricochet with the counter? Taking Tyler Bate out for whatever Bate had in mind from the top rope. All the assets that Tyler Bay has, Ricochet trying to avoid them. Ricochet really utilizing his strength 
advantage there over Tyler Bate. Took him off of the corner and then that power slam off the top rope moments ago. Is Ricochet changing up his offense to try to outwork Tyler Bate here tonight? Nice kick by Ricochet. Well, look at this. Talk about showcasing the strength that's got Tyler Bate up on his shoulders and a sit-out powerbomb from the Cruiserweight Champion. Ricochet is digging deep in his bag of tricks to try to dethrone. Oh, wait a minute, shooting star press into the cover. No, Tyler Bates survives for another moment, but Ricochet, the sit-out powerbomb, then goes to the top rope with the shooting star press like only he can do. And now the Cruiserweight Champion hitting the ropes, hits him the second time, standing moonsault. Back into the cover on the challenger. But Tyler Bate, a one count. A one count off of that offense from Ricochet. And the Cruiserweight Champion's got to start to be thinking, what the hell do I got to do to put Tyler Bate away tonight? Look at that maneuver. Into the pinfall again. And Bate survives again in this matchup. Ricochet has really thrown a little bit of everything so far on Tyler Bate. He's gone high risk. He's used his strength as we saw. But Tyler Bate still survives. I think we are witnessing Ricochet's toughest challenge right now in his Cruiserweight Championship reign. Close line to the outside. Down goes the champion. Oh, wait a minute. What's Tyler Bate got in mind? Looking to make a name for himself in his first night on Friday Night SmackDown. Suicide dive for the challenger. Tyler Bate is all over the champion. Moots on the outside of the ring. And the crowd here in Las Vegas tonight showing their appreciation for these two competitors. Bates and a ricochet into the ring apron again in this matchup. Now continuing the offense on the outside of the ring. My goodness, down goes the champion. A brutal contest for the Cruiserweight champion. No doubt meeting his toughest opponent tonight in Tyler Bate. But will Ricochet be able to survive? Or are we going to see a new champion? So the fight continues on the outskirts of the ring as Ricochet sends Tyler Bate. Bait up into the steel ramp. Ricochet's got to change up his strategy here. He's used his strength. He's obviously went high risk multiple times in this matchup, and none of it has worked just yet on Tyler Bate. Ricochet back into the ring, but Tyler Bate there to cut him off. Got him in the fireman's carry position. Oh, no. Going to make the Cruiserweight champion a little bit dizzy here in Las Vegas, and it's not because the drinks are flowing. Tyler Bates' feet are moving a mile a minute. And the Cruiserweight Champion's down to the challenger. Man, knocked his own lights out. Ricochet is down and out. Tyler Bates is heading to the top rope. Bates could be about to be the Cruiserweight Champion here. Corkscrew by Tyler Bates. That is it. That is going to do it. Tyler Bates in the cover. No, Ricochet gets the shoulder up. What a matchup we got for the Cruiserweight Champion here tonight on the Friday Night SmackDown All-Star Kickoff. Tyler Bate with that corkscrew, not enough to keep the Master of the Sky down just yet. The human highlight reel is still got a little bit of fight left in him. Now Tyler Bate's got Ricochet. Oh my goodness, we're going for another ride. Around and around the Cruiserweight Champion goes. I don't think either one of these men are going to be standing after this maneuver. Ricochet down on the canvas again. Tyler Bate trying to get his wits about him. Ricochet saving himself, rolling to the outside of the ring, trying to outrun the challenger right now. And that may be what Ricochet needs to get back into this contest. Grabs a hold of the challenger. Snap suplex there by the Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Tyler Bate. Sneaky pinfall there. Oh, my goodness. Almost had him. A mere second away from a new cruiserweight champion. And Tyler Bate, the drop kick. Ricochet drop kick. And a hangman's neck breaker from the cruiserweight champion. Springboard Phoenix splash. Champion into the cover. Tyler Bate gets the shoulder up again. 
What a cruiserweight championship matchup. Opening us up tonight at the All-Star kickoff. Recall me. Tyler Bate gets the shoulder up. You got to be kidding me. Ricochet throwing that recall knee at the challenger, but Tyler Bate lives to fight another moment in our opening contest. Shoots Bate off into the corner. Tyler on the top rope. Ricochet, oh wait a minute. Ricochet back. Double knees and Tyler Bate. Maybe knocked out cold after that maneuver. They spoke too soon, there's a kick to Ricochet. Tyler Bate trying to save his Cruiserweight Championship hopes here. Big opportunity for Tyler Bate tonight into the cover. He goes with Ricochet again with a kick out. What is it gonna take to keep one of these men down? Bate going for the kick, Ricochet at the counter. Oh, what a knee by the Cruiserweight Champion. Tyler Bate is down and out. Oh no, Ricochet heading to the top rope. 6.30 on the challenger. Into the cover. Ricochet moves past 166 days as your WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the World. What a matchup. Tyler Bates stepping up in a huge way tonight. May have came up short, but everybody is going to remember the name of the mustache himself. I think it's safe to say we are looking at the king of the cruiserweights. Hey, so I'm on a chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rock.